you know, when, when government finances scientific endeavors, they're pretty conservative about it. In my own experience when dealing with NASA and with the National Science Foundation, it's really made me kind of proud to be an American. They're not only are they not cor corrupt, which obviously they're not, but they really keep an eye on every nickel. It's tough to spend federal money um, without being very careful about how you account for everything. So NASA was always of two minds about the Voyager record. Uh, here was this artifact that, was, that is the, expected to be the longest lasting thing ever made by human beings. It'll last at least a billion years in terms of its message staying intelligible, drifting out among the stars forever. The Voyager spacecraft are currently on their way out of the, the solar system. So from, I think everyone in NASA to some degree felt there's something inspirational about this. In addition to the spacecraft, once its mission is over, we'll have this, this record with photos and music and sounds of the Earth that it's kind of a time capsule of who and when we were. It's sort of amazing, and people loved it. On the other hand, as a, a federal organization, they were scared to death that someone in Congress was going to get a hold of this and say we were wasting money. It wasn't very much money. Uh, it, was, it didn't cost a lot to make the record. But still, if you look at any of the press release photos of the Voyager record from when it was launched right through its long mission to Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune, uh, they all show the side of the spacecraft that does not have the record on just for fear that some, somebody was going to say, wait a minute, what's that? You know? And that launch, they literally tried to keep us under wraps. They, they, we had to have a press conference, so they had us hold our press conference in a room with an accordion partition separating us from a, uh, a polka band that was playing a wedding. So you can't hear any of the audio or video stuff that we did uh, to, to talk about our, our record. So I, the, the visionary side of space exploration will probably in the future belongs more to the the private sector, which is where most of the history of exploration was anyway. Um, I think the, the fact that the government, governments got involved in space exploration for a while is just a kind of a historical anomaly that, that was necessary to get it started and will probably will continue to, to shrink as a portion of budget. NASA gets $15 billion a year now, which in constant dollars is down some from what it was just 10 or 15 years ago. I think there's a lot of public support for the idea we should be spending money on scientific exploration. Nobody quite knows what to do with a manned program. But by the time we get to Mars, it could very well be that that's being done by um, explorers on their own dime rather than by uh, government projects.